Hello everyone. I wanted to come to you with a one year post-op sleeve video. Um, I was trying to make videos more frequently, but due to life and everything, I didn't get to. So this is my one year. Yesterday was one year. Um, last week I went in for my one year post-op and my nutritionist and the doctor were both very happy with my progress. Uh, I had lost a majority of, I had lost all my excess weight at my six month post-op uh, appointment, which they were concerned about because they were afraid I was losing too much weight. So they started having me see the dietitian every month for four months at that point, um, figured out how many calories I needed to be taking in, how many carbs I needed to be taking in to maintain at the 120 to 130 pound range. Um, for the most part, I've been maintaining between 123 pounds to 125 pounds. Um, today when I weighed in, I'm 125 pounds, which is a total loss of a 107 pounds for me from my total um, weight loss of 232 pounds, which was the starting weight when I started the process of my six months required nutrition visit and the weight before surgery and the weight I've lost during this whole process because I feel like that's super important um, is to acknowledge all that that this is a process and that it is a lot of work and you are going to have times where you crave things and you are going to make mistakes but the most important thing is is knowing that you can let yourself have those treats of something that's been stressed to me by my nutritionist and the doctor but there's a difference between allowing yourself to have those treats and going back to old eating habits so when i do allow myself treats i tend to be very strict on myself for the rest of the time um, on what i'm eating what i'm drinking what i'm putting in my body I still don't use straws. I still do not drink any caffeine or carbonated beverages as I don't want to have those side effects of stretching my sleeve out or um, damaging it in any way. I truly believe this surgery saved my life and set me on a path of healthiness and I try to stick to it as much as possible. But we are human and we all do have temptations. So don't beat yourself up for it. Just stay on it. Um, this is a side view of me, um, and the outfit I wore on the day I made my first video, and then this is the front, the other side, the back, I'm sure you guys will be able to see how loose my upper top has become, these are the same pants, they are very loose now, but they're still form fitting for the most part, you know, you can't really tell too, too bad, um, I went from a extra large large in shirts to smalls and extra smalls from a 14 16 in pants to a 0 1 1 in smalls um and like i said um i did lose a majority of my weight all of my excess weight in the surgeons and the doctor and the nutritionist opinion at my six month um post-op appointment. So I have been maintaining that weight for the last six months. I've been right in that three to five pound mark, which is where they like you to stay. They consider that maintaining. Um, and like I said, it's a strict diet. You have to follow it. You have to keep those carbonated beverages out of your diet. Try to not use the straws. Um, and really watch what you're putting in for drinks because that's where you can get a lot of empty carbs and calories. Um, some of my favorite foods are beef jerky, almonds, cottage cheese, blueberries, strawberries, chicken. Um, I love tacos without the shell. I love burritos without the rice and shell. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to write your questions in the comments below and I will answer them the best I can. Um, 
Like I said, this is a journey for everyone and everyone's journey is different. I am in a huge group of people from around the world who had their surgery um, sleeves for gastric bypass on the 21st as well. And several of them have not had the easiest time losing the weight. And we've all kind of talked through that stuff together. And that's something I would stress is having a group of people, even if they're not like right next door, even if it's only on Facebook Messenger, you have somebody who's going through this, who's in it and understands the struggles because as much as your family wants to understand, they are not in your body and they are not going to understand. That doesn't mean they don't support you. That doesn't mean they don't care. It just means that they tr don't understand what it feels like when you've overeaten and how you literally feel like you're going to puke because your stomach is so full. Um, yes, it's happened. Not a fun experience. Don't suggest it to anyone. Um, really listen to those body cues. It's hard at first to really do that. That was something my doctor and nutritionist really wanted me to do. Um, I tend to be a measurer of all foods. I, except for kind of my almonds, I'll let myself kind of have a little bit more of those. Um, I measure all my fruits, all my veggies, um, except for salad. Um, my nutritionist felt that it's much more important for me to get those healthy um, nutrients into my body than it was to focus on that. So what I do is measure the protein I have with the salad and I eat until I'm full. Within reason, um, I usually do about a cup of salad mix to a cup of protein and I usually can eat three quarters of the protein in a majority, some of the salad because the veggies and that break down really well. Some people don't eat salad. That's the other thing you're going to find on this journey is there are foods that some people can't tolerate. Um, for me, I can tolerate most foods for the most part, but some are just way too sweet and I don't like them and they taste funny to me. Um, and then other foods that were trigger foods for me in the past are still, I could eat them, but I don't eat them in excess. I only have, you know, one cookie. If that's what I really want, I'll have that one cookie, but then I don't have, you know, any extras and I stick to that strict diet otherwise. Um, I hope this video helps you. Um, I know for me, watching videos really helped me understand what the process was going to look like for me. Um, please like, subscribe, and also comment and ask those questions. Have a great day. Is that okay?